Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will talk about the controller. So, these are the points that we are going to cover in this video. We will see that what is the controller, how we can make the controller, how we can call it with the router, how we can pass the data from router to controller, and why controller is necessary. Some points uh, you basically will get the why controller is required in the first point, but we will discuss some more points also. So now what is the controller so this is a part of the mvc you know that mvc is the model view controller and controller actually connect the view and the model in the model you get the data and in the view you have to show it so controller will connect both of them it can just get the request and the data from the user from the input values and all right so this is basics the this is the basics of controller now how we can make it for that i am just going to let's clear the command line and let's just write the command that we can just make the controller for it let's write a php artisan make controller controller name users so guys please keep in mind that laravel always recommend that the controller should be plural so it can be like users animals fruits like this so it it never should be like user animal and fruit it should be plural always so just hit the enter now you can see that we got the controller and where you will get the controller so let's see it let's click on the app http then controller then here you can find your user so when you just get the user it first of all it just show the namespace then it import the request class by default this is not required if you just make it comment then it will still also work but uh, when we just get the request from apis and the post request then this is a very useful thing so now let's make a function inside it so first function i am just going to make with the name of index and let's return something here like uh, name let's return some array uh, name uh, can be like uh, and it's two perfect so now our control is ready but how we can call it how we can show it on the browser so for that we must have to call it from the router so i'm just going to make a route for it for to make the route just write a route get and in the first parameter you have to provide the uh, route name let's say just let's say i just want to call it from the users then we have to put it here user and a first parameter and in the second parameter we have to call it our controller name which is a users at the rate your function name which is index now let's try to call it and let's see what we get here now you can see that this is the uh, response of our controller so basically you can see that this is a small a very small api also because this is written in the json here so let's say i just want to make one more uh, controller here so you can see that one more route here so just let's make it a show and in the same router you can make one more function so let's just write it show and here you can just make it simply uh, hello from controller all right so it's not required that you must have to return every time so if i'm just going to call it with a show uh, uh, let me check what's wrong with it okay so just make it a show right now you can see that here so now let's say i have some id or some data here like 100 and i just want to pass it on my controller that how can i pass it for that let's take a one more slash area and just put here dollar id or anything like dollar item whatever you want and in your function let's take a parameter like dollar id and you can just uh, add it with the dot dollar id and now let's see as you can see that we got the hundred hello we can just pass anything where we want right so this is about the controller now let's see some important points so as you can understand that this is very important for connecting the controller uh, to connecting the model and the view but 
if we don't have the controller then we cannot call the middlewares we cannot call the simply session and all and uh, sometimes we need to just write here some business logic inside the controller they also cannot be performed and only view and model which is database file are making uh, collapse the code so it will be not really readable and all that's why it's very important for thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye take care